Hey, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to be installing some exhaust gas temperature probes uh, on my four cylinder motor so that I can monitor fueling across individual cylinders. And I thought I knew all there was to know about an exhaust probe. You buy the probe, you stick it in the exhaust pipe, and you measure the resistance, right? And actually, there's a lot more to it than that. So I thought I'd do a quick video on what I thought was cool. First thing I thought was cool is that these are thermocouplers and they can be used from minus 148 to 2,372 degrees in my case. Uh, so, and they can be used for anything, not just exhaust gas. So if you want an ambient air temperature sensor, if you want something submerged in liquid, these are a great option for all of those. So that's something I didn't know. Second thing is the tip. I didn't know that there was an open tip and a closed tip. The closed tip is more durable, but slower responding. The open tip, like what I have here, is much uh, faster responding, 250 milliseconds, but can be a little less durable. They can only be a little less durable if you buy cheap sensors. I purchased these from the Sensor Connection, which seems to specialize in sensors and seems to be very passionate about them. These are not Chinese uh, um, knockoffs or anything like that. They're good sensors, which is what you want when you're actually trying to balance your fuel in. So um, they come with this nice spec sheet. Um, yellow is positive, red wire is negative. I'm not sure why that's different, but that's what it is. And um, you can see the spec specifications here. Very good sensor, 0.4 of reading uh, percent error. It's amazing. Um, the last thing is you need an amplifier. You can't just hook these up, wire this up to some gauge and have it read. You need an amplifier because the resistance changes are so small between these two dissimilar metals that you need something to amplify the signal. So my Motec ECU will take care of that for me through my E888 um, thermal, thermal coupler can input output expander. How's that for a mouthful? Anyway, I'm gonna get these installed. I'll be right back. All right, here they are all installed. So essentially drill a 5 16th hole, put the clamp on, then set the, the probe in through the um, clamp and set your height, put it right in the middle of the exhaust stream and tighten it down. Um, for placement, this is a four stroke motor. I had heard anything from two to four inches from the valve. These are one and a half inches from my flange of my header. So uh, I am assuming that that will be close enough and should give me good readings. Uh, and just make sure they're equal. So they're inch and a half all the way across. You can't see number uh, three and four there, but um, this will work good. I got some heat shrink that brings it up over to here into some, into some nylon braid and that'll carry it over to my ECU and I'll put in my yellow connectors here. Just wanna show the proper way to shorten an EGT wire. Um, first thing you do is put a little tape around where you're gonna cut so the braided uh, sleeve doesn't fray. I use this blue painter's tape, it works fine. Then you, a uh, little trick is you use a drill bit um, of the same size as your washer, or excuse me, seal. Uh, put that over the drill bit, butt it up to the wire, and then roll it on um, so you can get that on there. Then some shrink wrap, and then you'll pull off this little insulating yellow wrap here, and then finally exposing your wires. And then I find having a really good um, electrical stripper is key to stripping the wires. And then now you can hook up and put them into your EGT connector and then I'm labeling mine with the cylinders so I don't get them mixed up. This is kind of look of what it looks like just before you're done. Uh, this is where you have your seals run back over your stretch wrap. Your stretch wrap is holding your braided line in place. And then we'll get the cap on. And one last time, check for continuity. Final connection with the wire support bracket installed. Last thing you do is check continuity and you are done. And all four are done. Different lengths, corresponding different cylinders, which match the pattern on the engine. Now I'll just mount my MoTeC E88 CAN bus extender here, and then I'll make the female versions of these that'll come down and plug into that. Hope this helps somebody. If you like this stuff, please leave me a comment. Thank you.